I just got a flat tire, first one on the Nissan Leaf, and like some of the newer cars, doesn't come with a spare donut, spare full, just a can of fix a flat, which uh, I haven't had to deal with a car without that. So in any case, I was just near home, um, so I got was able to drive home. It was very low, uh, and I found the hole. There was no nail or screw still in there, so that makes it a little bit easier. And I'm going to just use a tire plug kit. Uh, pretty simple. Find your hole. There's a little rasp type thing that kind of cleans out the, the hole. And then you put a plug in with this little tool, which lets you push it in and then twist and pull it out. Um, not every kit comes with rubber cement but it's either good to get one with it or just get rubber cement because that kind of definitely better to do this with some rubber cement for the seal but also kind of helps slide it in better lubricant so we'll get a little bit of cement there Definitely pretty tight. So open that up a little more. Alright, I had to move the my camera away to really get some leverage. You can see that's stubborn. So now that plugs in there, kind of work that out. You can see that cement kind of makes it all gooey like that and basically you can let this dry up for a bit I take a razor blade and you know we'll cut it since this is in that groove can't really cut it flush to the rubber but I can cut it flush to the tread and then should just kind of wear as the tire wear. So anyways I don't can't say I really like the idea of cars without a spare donut but that's what they do so anyways I've had good luck with plugs in the past lasting you know 25,000 miles or plus so figure see how this holds up but I expect it to hold up like any other plug.